Hey campers, tonight we're making Sloppy Joes with a kick. I'm Christy. I'm Jason. I'm Aubriella. And, and this is... is... And we, we are... I Want to Camp, camp with, with You. It's a beautiful night. We're looking for some I fun to do. Hey campers, I, I think I want to... Okay, so for the sloppy joes, the first thing I'm going to do is brown the beef. Uh, I went with the 80-20 mixture, got you know, the fattiness that you kind of need for a sloppy joe. Sorry, I made Kroger for an appetizer, so my spatula was over there. Can you tell him to hold on? Anyway, so I'm going to brown the beef. Um, and you probably don't want to watch all that. So we're going to come back in just a minute. Okay, so I've browned the beef. I am now going to add diced onion. I just did like a yellow sweet onion. And diced red and green peppers. Oh, I guess I should tell you, this is also from CJ's first cooking show channel. I think I've gotten all the recipes I wanted off of there, so this will probably be the last one for a while unless he comes up with something great that I really want to do. Um, but anyways, I need a new cameraman. So I've browned the beef and I've softened up the peppers and onions. This is looking good. It smells even better. Okay, so. You wouldn't tell me to smell like crap. All right, so we're just gonna, we're gonna go with what I see over here. All right, so here we go. We got minced garlic. I'm trying to remember. I think he did garlic powder in his. Um, but garlic powder really kills our stomach, so we're not going to do that. So, I don't know, like, like two tablespoons, somewhere around there. You're doing amounts. Did you talk about the amount of beef you put in there? Because I, I don't remember that. Sorry, that was two and a half pounds of ground beef. Um, wow. All right. And then we're going to do, oh, sorry, stone ground mustard. Found it at Walmart. You probably get it any other grocery store. About two tablespoons of it, yeah. give or take. <laughs> and then Worcestershire sauce. I got this is store brand. Um, about two tablespoons of it. fridge that way. So about half a tube of tomato paste. So this is different than the way I normally would make my sloppy joes. Normally I do ketchup, mustard, brown sugar, um, and I think that's about it. Salt, pepper, you know, normal. But when I saw him do it this way, I was like, hmm, we need to try it. So that's what I'm doing. Did you? Is that how it played out? Well, actually, I was going to make them, and Jason said, oh, well, I want to try them that way, so we did it. Anyway, I'm going to stir this around. I'm trying to get that all mixed up. I'll leave them out now. So it's mixed. 
now, instead of sugar, I'm going to use Coca-Cola. I don't really know how much Coca-Cola, so I'm just going to dump. Okay. Kind of a dump and toss situation. So, so like the sugars, you know, they'll reduce, they'll thicken, and then when that happens, you want to add a little bit more because you don't want a sloppy dough that's not sloppy. Okay. <laughs> it smells spot on. It does. It smell just really starts smelling exactly like the canned stuff. Oh, it smells better than the canned stuff. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. If you walk into a room, you would know that's Sloppy Joe. Right, you would know it was Sloppy Joe. You are correct. All right. I think I'm probably going to do like maybe about to there on the 20 ounce. Yeah, I didn't see that. Oh, sorry. Like about to there probably. Maybe 10 ounces, 11 ounces. Yeah, 10, 11 ounces or so. We'll see what more than half. Like after this. We're not that quick at math. Did you catch the eye roll that time? No, I did not. Okay. Do it again. <laughs> no. Alright. A little bit more. And then I think we'll be good. Yeah, so it's probably about 11, 11 ish ounces. <laughs> I think it's getting plenty soupy enough. So, yeah, let me get stated this. There we go. Right there. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, oh, I didn't save the wrapper. The wrapper for what? What does it matter? Please hold. What does it matter? One minute. Alright. So we'll return to this. Looking good. Okay, so these are the buns. Um, I toasted them because we like our buns toasted. Um, they're potato buns. So, now... I'm going to plate. Are you trying this or am I trying this? I thought you said you were. No, I said I was trying the lo mein. Then I'll try. The lo mein. Smelling good, mommy. It is smelling good, Aubrey. All right. So we got sliced jalapenos. Oh yeah, if you didn't watch the lo mein video, I highly recommend it. It was absolutely delicious. And marinate the beef like I did because it matters. CJ, you're wrong on that. Yeah, cameraman what didn't catch that. Do it again. CJ, you're wrong on that. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so. Looking, looking pretty good. Mm, it's going to be a mess. It's sloppy. I know, but. It's, it's called neat Joe. A little, Joe, a little pretty. Alright, that's out. Or organized Joe. <laughs> Alright. So there's that. Crispy onions. I put these on top of my lo mein. This is not what was supposed to go on top of the lo mein, but it worked and it was good. It tastes good. It did. But it was supposed to be crispy chow mein noodles, but whatever. So anyways, these are going on top of here, like so. And we're gonna do, we're gonna do that. We're gonna make it pretty. Whiskey burger, post dust. That's what they call it, right? Post dust. That's a fancy name for so sprinkling just, it on after you're done. Sprinkle it. Okay. Gotta take a picture of this side. It looks better. Okay. Jason's gonna try it, and then we'll quit bothering you. It's a mess.
It is a mess. Should I get in for a close up? I don't know. <laughs> Try to tackle it right now. Let's see. See, this isn't no Guy Fieri move. I don't have an napkin. You'll have to wait. What's mm. it taste like? We just need to know what it tastes like. <laughs> Is it better than the sugar that I normally put on it? Pretty good. I think we would have to have more tomato paste. More tomato paste. Yep. Okay. All right. So, All note of to our self. Sauce is absorbed. It's not really. Oh, I can't sauce. It. Okay. But the taste is great. Okay. I wouldn't call it a sloppy Joe taste. Probably need a little more tomato paste, maybe a little more Coca-Cola. All right. So, remember, I use like 11, 12-ish ounces of Coca-Cola, so probably go maybe 15, 16. With that and... much burger, I say you should have just squeezed the entire tube of tomato paste. Okay. So, I use a half a tube of tomato paste, so go ahead and use the whole tube. Well, the jalapenos, do the jalapenos have good the jalapenos flavor? jalapenos are great. Yeah. Given you did get rid of the inside. You know. Yeah, I did. I got rid of the inside because we're, we're worms. This is a four and a half ounce tube of yeah. tomato paste. Yeah. So, use the whole tube. Yep. But it's delicious regardless. Doesn't matter. Next time we'll try it out. I'm yeah. sure we'll get it better. Yeah, see this is what we get awesome. for doing things for the first time in front of you guys. But whatever. Now you know. Now you know our mistakes. She's withholding napkins from me, so <laughs> I'll just keep eating. Anyways, try it, enjoy it, you'll like it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And thanks for watching. Hey campers, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the like button. And hit that bell. Hit that bell.